Tonight we'll be reviewing the USS Lantry and the Vador Assault Fighter. If you're one of our patrons, you saw this video two days ago. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David, I'm Sven and tonight we'll be reviewing Star Trek, the official Starship collection by Igamos, issue 138 and 139 which is the USS Landry and the Vardwar Assault Fighter, the ship nobody wanted and nobody asked for, but to be fair mm. it was a really good episode don't really remember much about the assault fighters other than them exploding <laughs> and a bit in the hangar. But other than that, okay. iconic ship. Talking of iconic ships, would you like to start with the lantry? Let's, uh, there's, there's the ship, and uh, I'll be playing with Miranda Cassis lost his robot. There we go. USS Lantry, NCC 1837. Hello. You know what's really bad? What? We've Where's seen, the photon torpedo launchers? We, well, really we've seen these ships in multiple ways in the past. And yet, I always hear the music from the Wrath of Khan as she's just going through the nebula. Why? Is that just Why? after the uh, robot's been blown off? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Class Miranda, launched 23rd century, crew 26. 26? I don't think no. so. No! Not the Miranda class! Length 243 metres. It, it, it takes that to grease the warp core up enough to move. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Yes, I just try to remember what I, I, I think they might have actually said that in the episode, you know. What? No. Mm. Well, it's more automated, isn't it, in the next gen time frame? Yeah, but. Would they need more than 26 people to run? There are voices cars? in my head screaming. No. Well, no, can think about it. You know, Scotty managed to do it so that they could run the ship from the bridge with a crew of nil, but it's not the point. You can't. Ah, but they didn't, he didn't expect it to go into combat, you know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> true. Um, warp 9.2, phaser emitters, photon torpedoes, and this is how they put it down the base. Because it's all it's about the base. Yeah, it's all about the base. Which is a shame, because, you know, starships have trouble. USS Landry, that is not a shot from the episode. That is not a shot that from the episode. episode. That is a shot from the episode. Season 2, a natural selection, if I remember correctly. Do I remember correctly? Yes, you do. do. There we go. Oh, damn it. Pulaski having um, pain due to uh, arthritis in her uh, elbow. Uh, 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 we will be nice about Pulaski. There's a, too much Pulaski That bashing. was in the story. I know, but there's too much bashing of Pulaski and she's a good actress. Diana Muldor is a good actress. He's a good actress. The character, good, <laughs> good character and the actress is very talented. Right. Don't. Okay. Can, can I ask you a question? Yes. As somebody with so fine a hair, how can you pick so much because you just leave the door so wide open it's true I do um, there we go topographical view USS Lantry look there's a fusion power core oh that was a crystal ok <laughs> two warp cells and a shock uh, arrangement of one other side um, RCS thruster phaser emitters um, primary sensor dome yes 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 shuttle bay yeah all in the normal place really intercooler assembly all the as the Americans like to call it the chiller grill all that jazz <sighs> there we go, more shots. Uh, creating the lantry. Well, you, you take the Reliant and you rip off its, its <laughs> robot. It's really not hard. Um, <laughs> Next Generation Season 2. We make the, the blind man the uh, engineer rather than <laughs> the pilot. Which was fair. It um, was, it was. Then make the cling on the head of security. And then we recycled a script from Phase 2. Eagle Moss have learned. Has he got see-through blackbirds? They're, they're black. They are see-through. They yeah. are see-through black. <gasps> Key appearance and natural selection. I was right. Um, and there's O'Brien. And uh, no, so, so I, don't, I don't think you were treating this with the reverie it actually deserves. They finally learned. Because I was about to complain what? about the crappy matte black. And I was like, that black is too good. Transparent, isn't it? <laughs> no. Mine. Mine is No. It's a pretty. It's a pretty spread. Don't you wish your Reliant was just like that? I do. <laughs> Although Eagle Moss will be getting a phone call tomorrow. Right. Because uh, my bridge module has no paint on it. 
Well, correction, it has a massive dent where some paint should be. Okay, so production error, but I'm going to ignore the production error. I'm going to just go for the ship. Oh, okay. Ugly join mark for the nacelles. Paint job is nice. They got the fonts right in the right places, roughly the right looking thing. They got gold paint on here, that's unusual for them. Isn't that correct? It's, it's, yeah, it, it looks pretty right. Some that, that Aztec is really rather nice. Yeah. Um, those little, those little Starfleet emblems are gorgeous. Gold paint? Yeah. The phaser emitters. And which isn't check out the shuttle accurate, base. It's quite cool. That is, that's they nice. numbered the shuttle they numbered base. The shuttle base. Wow. And okay. that, isn't it sad? There was a point in time where we would have expected that as standard, but Eagle Moss have now beat us into submission and now yeah, we're impressed. You've got damage to use. Yeah, I've got yeah. damage to mine. Yeah. Okay. So well, that's not a bum. That's the one thing you've got to give Eagle Moss their view. Their customer care is very okay, good. Okay, that is it's stunning. Really good. And did you notice it's ridged for his player? Yes. It's the fact it's ridged on the inside as well. Yeah. Again, that's what I said. It's ridged for his pleasure because on I mean, the outside it would. <clears throat> there, yeah. It should have been actually. The join line's shocking. That's not ridged on the outside of the nacelle. And on the inside, which yeah. is wrong. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's, it, they at least put some ridging in. Yeah. But that, you know, generally speaking, that's really, really good. Majorly speaking, it's even. Really good. Wow, okay. Yeah. And the fact we've actually got the red outline around the, the registry yep. number. Oh, I'm liking this. See, things we would have expected are standard. Yeah. <laughs> that is really nice. Shall I have to blow it up at the end of the episode? Well, I, for me, it's the join. It, the join is ugly. But other than that, I'm, yeah. I think that's a really nice Flagship. Shape. Plagueship. You leave the plagueship alone. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, it was a good episode, but it's, it's, it's just nice to see another configuration of the ship. How many Mirandas have we got to go? <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that all the Miranda variations done now? No, I think there's still one more they haven't done. Oh, is that with the weird... Yeah, the, the weird, piece yeah, of the on top. Okay, right, okay, so how are we going to score this one? I'm giving it a nine. I'd want. I'd rather have the ridges on the outside of there. Whether they're accurate or not isn't the question entirely. But they should be there in my head. But other than that, I can't see anything that wrong with them. Okay. Yours has got a slight error. Yeah, I'm. I'm, not I'm not going to count that in because not everybody's is going to have that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with the nine. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to go with the nine on that one. Okay, what did you think of the magazine? Because there was some bits and pieces in there that was quite normal. It's, it's Although a bit too reliant basic. on the CGI. It's too reliant. Did you? <laughs> I know it's a long way to go to get that joke in, but I thought it was worth it. It was worth it, it was worth it. I hope our viewers thought so too.
<laughs> okay, now we have a small problem here. You can't show me the magazine. Why? Because when I said when I looked at it and then I remembered how to pronounce Vodwa, I've just got her giving that entire speech about Vodwa meaning foolish and how she'd be foolish if she didn't learn from history. And blah. So I've I've got the entire monologue just running through my mind. I don't need divots to remind me. Crew one launched in the fifteenth century. Yes. Okay. Maybe seventy meters. They didn't upgrade their ships in what ten centuries? They were in stasis. Okay, fair enough. Um, length 70 meters, weapons, particle cannon. I do not remember this episode at all. Sniff my ship. No, just from the box. Jeez. Can you not, you can not smell that? How to mount it on the mount on its stand. Location Delta Quadrant type fighter, 15th century operation. 70 meters long. I don't think it's going to be any metal in the next corridor. Few ships. It was basically slipstream, really. Wasn't it, it was, it was slipstream. And particle cannons for weaponry. Sven. Yeah, there's it's all not, metal there. There's oh, God. That smell wasn't paint, it's oil. It's all on the bottom of my ship. <laughs> my ship covered in oil. What's, what's, what, what's plastic made of? Oh, no. I know you can edit, but can A and E remove <laughs> starships? Model starships. Model yes. starships. Actual yeah, starships. Actual starships. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more difficult. Okay, go on. Right, finish. Finish reading the book. Okay, so uh, here we have the Vod War assault fighter, which makes me think of Mortal Kombat every time I hear it. Vod War! Get over here! Um, the USS Voyager has pulled in the corridor. There we go. Yes, it's uh, yeah, very CGI. Yeah. Um, here's some shots from the, sh the episode itself, of them blowing up and stuff. I, I immediately had one small complaint. <laughs> uh, topographical view, where we see the warp cells cockpit. And so, why do we need a warp cells when there's one person craft? That seems like an awful waste of uh, fuel. Um, waste iron exhaust, impulse thrusters. Because of the way they Central attacked. plasma impeller. Okay. Um, That's to make it sound <laughs> old school. Um, yeah. Background on design of the Void War, close the fires around the city, and then some well, of the Oh, the city we got to see in ruins. Yeah, yeah. And look at the visual effects from season six of Voyager, including a lot of this You tumbling. know, the uh, special effects in that season were phenomenally good. Yeah. Um, there's the good old Delta Flyer, bits of city blowing up, uh, Ares 4, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Um, and then, yes, there's all that dragon's teeth. There we go. And the next one after this is the Starfleet Dug. Cool. Yep. From DS9. Ding, ding. There you go. Oh. Right. That's quite cool. In a, Pick it up, because it's tool. got all the metal in for my next three starships. Wow, yes, that's... that's it's cool. all in that one model. Quite a lot of metal there. You could probably recycle that and be worth more. Oh. Um... <laughs> What, in the second hand market for Starships? Yeah. <laughs> Not that we're complaining. <laughs> um, it's only because I produced something. Eh? Because there's enough people still subscribed. Let's hope that keeps going. All so around the world. Six to... But, you know. Um, it's that great now that we've got different generations of the same ship. <laughs> yes. Um, Isn't that uh, stunning? Yeah. They've done an it's incredible like... job. But it's not a hero ship, so of course it is. And there's bits of green on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm deadly serious. Yes. Yeah. Why you something that was a throwaway in an episode done so well? Is it because they've got the, C the original CG assets from it? They've got so much information available to them. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that was a model. Yes, I know. I know, it's a stunning model, and it's a model they should never get wrong. You know, wow. like, I don't know, say an Enterprise. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, going know, back to this ship. The Refit Enterprise. Going back to this ship. Glorious photography. And you'd places. think when they make them bigger it would be easier, but apparently, yeah. no. Let's just put them in the on. <clears throat> okay, so going back um, to the Vodwa Assault Fighter. That joy line's a bit of annoying. A bit, a bit of annoying, a bit annoying. Okay. Um, but it's kind of in, it, in yeah. keeping with yeah. it. 
Um, I can't really knock that. I'm not sure where I would knock it because I don't know the ship very well. Well, nobody does. It yeah. was a throwaway in the episode. It really was. You got to see a hanger of them in a clip shot, and then you got to see them in a stream. I quite like this backwash effect that's mm. put on from the impulse drives. Um, so it looks like battle damage almost, yeah. but it, it looks like there's actual out, output. Yeah, I'm not you know, saying. it's nice. That's, that's well done. Yeah, it really is. Are we giving that another nine? We're giving it another oh, nine. I know, no, so that's two nines in a week. I, I feel oh. dirty. I feel like, yeah. No, no, well, I always feel dirty, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, mm, loving that. Yeah. As well in the subscription package, they included... Ta-da! Your collector's guide. My collector's guide. Now, already grabbed one this is a wonderful thing. Yeah. But we've already picked them up because yeah, we did PST. it at an event. But I think it's nice. They probably printed up that many that yeah. they got thrown in with these. I do think it's... Actually, no. So it's specifically no. in the box with that one. Because, yeah. you know what, I was about to say, because we subscribe, but... I got bagged copies, so these would have been retail sales copies. So interesting that they threw it out. Let's, let, let, let's assume that's an assumption. Okay. Uh, because, uh, we, well, it's still nice I that they threw it, it in. The shelf, I'm not going to okay, but it's nice that they yeah, threw it in. Totally. So and Even it's up to date, up to about 130. You know what else was quite that. funny that they put in here? Was that that leaflet? That was that leaflet yes. because that leaflet is. It shows me the wonderful space dock. Yes, which. Now my, my problem here is, is the fact that you got this this morning. Yes. And this uh, says... What's the date this morning? Uh, this morning would have been uh, the 7th of December. It is the 7th of December. And it says in this leaflet, contact us by the 30th of November as to whether you want it or not and we'll charge on the 3rd of December. Plenty of notice there then. Yep, yep, tons of it. Bit dodgy that, but there we go. Okay, it's mm. not like you weren't going to have it though, is it? Because you need a space dock. Yeah, and I've got to phone them and order more. <laughs> well, good luck with that, because it's not on pre-order yet. Yeah, I know, but when it is. Yeah, well, when it's on pre-order, I'll let you know when it's on the website, because you might want to order it that way. Uh, oh, yeah, because I've still got to get the Voyager thing. Yes, and yeah. DPD will do the next day delivery for you, order of 50 quid. So. Woohoo! Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure three of them will cover that. <laughs> right, so... That about wraps it up for us. And when that arrives, we might have to do a roundup of space docks because that's our thing. Ooh. You know what else is really cool if you're an Eagle Moss fan? Would that be Colin's poster? Colin's poster? You mean the one that shows you the sips in size scale? Yes, Which scale is something that even point. Eagle Moss cannot do. Get right. <laughs> yes, look at Deep Space Nine and look at the Enterprise J. It is beautiful, like isn't it? Yeah, that is really nice to be That fun. is amazing. Yeah. That's, it uh, is, it's just, yeah, it's just a lovely thing. This, this thing, I know it has to be on there, but uh, be gone from my side. Um, yes, that's quite cool. I love the fact it's put the, uh, the uh, concept version of the Enterprise C on there as well. I'm disappointed that the, there isn't a space dock on there. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. 
And then I, asked, I actually asked him, which one are you putting on? Earth Space Dog or Star Base 74? Or both to show the difference. He cursed me. Um, no, yeah. <laughs> right, so, and on that note of people cursing us, and at that thank point you I then much. said to him, you might want to put Space Dog Birmingham on as well. That's slightly bigger. It's not the size of your space dock, it's what you do with it that counts. Store eight Constitution class starships. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And Don't spend. forget to check out our Patreon as well. Become a patron so you can see episodes like this at least two days before non-patrons. You know you want to. And where can they see nice pictures of well, the Well, they're on Facebook, at least for the time being. So yeah. if you're not on Come Facebook Come, have group, a look at the group. And the group which is currently called Geekology The Group. Oh, um, however, will people find us? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, get on over there and join the group so you can see the photos. Because you know you want to. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>